Dean? Dean? You listen to a word I said? Yeah, I heard you. I'm not calling him. Don't make me get my gun, boy. Well, we are damn near kickoff for Armageddon. Don't you think we got bigger fish at the moment? I know you're pissed. And I'm not making apologies for what he's done, but he's your blood. He's my blood, is that what you're gonna say? He's your brother. And he's drowning. Bobby, I tried to help him, I did. Look what happened. So try again. Oh, it's too late. There's no such thing. No! Damn it! No. But we gotta face the facts. Sam never wanted part of this family. He hated this life growing up. Ran away to Stanford, first chance he got. Now it's like deja vu all over again. Well, I am sick and tired of chasing him. Screw him. He can do what he wants. You don't mean that. Yes, I do, Bobby. Sam's gone. He's gone. I'm not even sure if he's still my brother anymore. If he ever was. Of a bitch. Well, boo hoo. I am so sorry your feelings are hurt. Princess, are you under the impression that family's supposed to make you feel good? Make you an apple pie, maybe? They're supposed to make you miserable. That's why they're family. I told him you walk out that door, don't come back, and he walked out anyway. That was his choice. You sound like a whiny brat. No, you sound like your dad. Well, let me tell you something. Your dad was a coward. My dad was a lot of things, Bobby, but a coward. He'd rather push Sam away than reach out to him. Well, that don't strike me as brave. You are a better man than your daddy ever was. So you do both of us a favor. <laughs>